finished up a two-day uh, tactical aid course. One of the things that we discussed in that course was, uh, to a limited degree, canine care, um, how a lot of the same treatment for humans applies to canines, right. and how tough dogs are compared to humans in yes. a lot of aspects. Um, we go through a lot of work on applying tourniquets for humans and how to put it on ourselves, but you're seeing more and more guys who have working dogs or support dogs, and sometimes you need to be prepared on how to treat your partner or your battle buddy. So, Doc, if you could walk, uh, walk us through on a tourniquet for sure, a canine. Man. Sure. The big thing with uh, applying a canine, uh, tourniquet to your canine is choosing the tourniquet that's right for their size. And one of the best tourniquets I've found for it is a SWAT T, a uh, stretch wrap and tuck tourniquet, because you've got these little, little legs here. You don't have the big muscular like these muscular tree like that on a human being. And also works great for kids and small adults, too. So, what we're going to do is get her to roll over. Yep. Don't bite me, Scout. And we're just going get to the, get the tourniquet up, and we do it just like we do on a human being. We're going to go high and tight. And we'd roll this thing until we got all the bleeding stopped, keep it in place. And also, with a dog with ultra metal status, they're going to try to snap and bite a little bit, so you want to keep the business end taken care of, like Adam's doing. We could also cut this tourniquet in half, wrap it around, make it impromptu through muzzle. As long as they got good airflow, they're good to go. And keep them warm and covered, and keep them reassessed. Now, I can also use the Izzy tourniquets or uh, the common uh, bandages that we use if I need to patch up a hole on, on my dog. Also. Right, absolutely. Uh, and with any Izzy's, halos, anything like that for penetrating chest trauma, uh, try to get the hair out of the way as much as you can. She doesn't have a big, thick coat, which is good, but if you're working with a dog like the German Shepherd, some of the double coat dogs, real thick uh, prep razor is going to be a lifesaver just so you can get all that crap out of the way and see where the, see where the hole is. Awesome. Well, Doc, once again, thanks for the training. It was nice awesome. Work.